super super mermaid my dad is in the room why why hey everyone today i am in a different place i'm actually in my bedroom today and i'm filming in the morning there are so many different sensations running through my body not really this is just weird for me because i never shoot in the morning this is actually before work besides my vlogs i've never filmed a video before 10 a.m so this is a strange moment for me and we're in my bedroom and if you don't watch my vlogs you might have never seen this room you're definitely not getting a very good angle on it and it does still need some more work um, but there's construction going on and as I was making this genius plan of filming in the morning and waking up super early and like making it happen I did not factor in my lovely lover friends across the street that are constantly seemingly doing like jackhammer projects across the street so we're over here I don't think this is going to be a normal thing, so if you hide it, don't worry. I feel like that was a little too much intro, but today we're doing favorites and unfavorites. Last month I told you there was a lot coming, and this month there's a lot here. So I've got a lot to talk about. I'm super excited to share with you, but first, how was your month? I hope it was good. Mine was sort of not good because I was sick like the entire month. Um, if you watch my vlogs, you definitely know about that. I had a sinus infection and a cold that would not go away. I'm actually still coughing, but I'm definitely a lot better. It was just kind of rough and it definitely got in the way of like my Halloween videos I planned. I did get to do one which was super special to me and I really like how it turned out. But um, I hope you guys had an awesome October. I've got a lot of favorites and unfavorites and a new playlist, but we'll talk about that later. Let's do the favorites. First up, a brow product. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette, and I got it in 255 Soft Brown. This is semi-new. Um, I actually put it in a haul video, and the haul video hasn't come out yet. Excuse me, it will come. I found this at HEB. It was on a display. I hadn't heard anything about it, and it just drew me in, and I've really, really been liking it. You guys know for the past few months, I've been super into the NYX Brow Pomade in Blonde, and I really, really like that one because it's very wearable, and if I don't want to wear a lot of eye makeup, it doesn't like overpower my face with brows when I use it. But I found that sometimes in pictures, whenever I did go all out with my eye makeup, it kind of, my brows just disappeared in pictures. And it was weird, and I have weird fluffy brows, so there's a few things going on with that. And these colors are definitely darker. It's soft brown rather than blonde. And I'm actually really, really liking the darker brow look lately. Um, I have it on today. Do you like it? Um, it comes with a kind of pigmented wax here nice and I really like the consistency of that and it comes with a brow powder here also really like the consistency on that they're both really cool toned which is definitely my preference for my brows and then it also comes with this highlighter shade here and I honestly don't use that that much and it also comes with a dual ended brush for applying these two products one thing that I wish was different is I wish there was something that made these sides different because I never remember which side I'm using in the wax and which side I'm using in the powder so I kind of just it's just a free-for-all another thing that I don't love oddly even though this isn't my favorites uh, is the packaging is really large I feel like this is really huge to put in my makeup bag um, but it hasn't prevented me from using it every single day lately so whatever. Next up, I have a concealer that actually was in past favorite videos, but I have returned to it. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Under Eye Concealer. I have it in neutral medium, and I feel like that's like the favorite color because when I bought it at Ulta, that was like, it was like two sections of neutral medium. Long, long ago, I got like a It Cosmetics pack with mini sizes and I had a tiny size of the Bye Bye Under Eye and I really, really liked that, but for some reason, I forgot about it. And I went back and recently used that tiny size again, even though it was super, super old and probably extremely expired. Stop judging me. And I remembered how lovely it is. And so I went and I purchased the full size so I wouldn't be like completely poisoning my skin. I've been using it every day. I've really, really been loving it. I can use this all by itself and set it and I don't have to use like two concealer products under my eyes. Um, it does a really great job with covering the veins under my eyes, which is pretty much my main concern. It's an interesting consistency and it's definitely very thick and you absolutely have to set it and you only wanna use a little bit because it goes a long way. Um, but if you work with it, it will work with you and it's wonderful. Also, 
Farrah Fawcett vibes. Are you feeling it? With my little 70s dog sweater. If you watch my latest Target haul, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's 90s, but it's 70s. Do you, do you know what I mean? Maybe that didn't make sense. Next up, I have some eyeshadows for you. Do not mind the palette. This is the only palette I had open for new shadows. It's actually a palette by The Balm, but all of these shadows are from Makeup Geek. It feels really, really wrong to do this, but this is all I had and I had to make it work. The top two rows are from the new Makeup Geek Matte Collection. I don't know if it's called a collection, but there were like 20, I think 20 new matte shadows from Makeup Geek and I was all over that because mattes are like my everyday faves. Especially these really nice like burgundy tones. <sighs> I'm all about it. Especially I want to highlight, I'm sorry I just yelled at you, um, this color Cherry Cola. <sighs> if you like Coco Bear and Bitten also by Makeup Geek, I think you will really 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 love Cherry Cola. I've been loving it. I have it on my eyes today. Actually, all of the shadows on my lids right now are Makeup Geek, and they're all in the top two rows. Obviously, I did not use this orange. I did use the orange the other day with uh, these two duochrome shadows, and I think those were those came out in September, but I didn't try them until later, and I've been kind of going crazy. I've been trying to switch it up. I feel like I got in a rut with my eyeshadow, especially like trying different colors and stuff like that, and I'm trying to get out of that. I also need to mention these two colors by name. Uh, they're both from the duochrome collection. Uh, there's Backlight, which is a super, super, super pretty duochrome purpley blue iridescent awesome color and then also this lighter purple duochrome called phantom and this one is um, much lighter and it's uh, kind of a lavendery pink duochrome um, I use these two to create my everyday casual mermaid look um, I talked about it on snapchat and I wore it to work on the day that we had our pumpkin carving party and I wore my little mermaid onesie and Luna was a shark aka Jaws. Um, it was pretty awesome. But I didn't put on my costume until after work, but I wanted to have my makeup done. And so with these two shadows, I made a like casual everyday mermaid eye look. And I've been thinking about doing a tutorial. Do you guys want to see that? I'll show you a picture because I actually posted a picture of like a hair tutorial that day. And a lot of people talked about my eyeshadow and it was mainly just these two. It was super, super easy and it was super, super mermaid. Let me know if you want to see that down below. Give me a thumbs up, comment, something like that. Um, I will list more of my favorites in the description. Basically, it's you guys know how I feel about Makeup Geek shadows. They're awesome. These are no exception. These were sent to me, but this is not like a paid deal or whatever. Um, I just, you guys know. I'm loving my mattes. Next up, I have a skincare product. This is like nothing I've ever tried before. It's by Loving Tan. It's a body exfoliator, polisher, something like that. I don't know what they call it, but I've had it a while and I never used it because I was like, what is this freaky mitten thing? I don't even understand because it looks like nothing, basically. You're like, honestly, what, why, 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 why? And since the dawn of my self-tanning days, I've always used exfoliator gloves like this. You just get them at like Target, Ulta, wherever. And I've had this pair. I like change them out every once in a while because I think they like lose their scratchy abilities or whatever. And this pair, I think I got it from Ulta and I don't remember what brand it is. I just was super dissatisfied for, with these from day one, but I was still just like going through with it. And I had this, but I hadn't used it. Once I finally used it, it works so well. I've never been like this excited about an exfoliator for your body ever before. I don't use any kind of like exfoliating products as far as like scratchy shower gels. I'm sure that's not the term that you're supposed to use, but you know what I mean. This thing does the job and it does it fast. Like I could actually see the tan like coming off, like the skin like rolling off. Like I was borderline concerned that I was like giving myself an abrasion. Not that it hurt, but I was just like, this is a lot of skin coming off. What's going on? I assure you, I was not injured in any way when I was using this, but it just, 
it helped so much and then whenever I put on my tan it went on way smoother and maybe it's just because I had those really crappy gloves before I don't know but I was super super impressed with this and I'm actually excited when I get to use this that is so weird whatever next up another skincare product I've been using this for about a month I showed you guys when I bought it at HEB again in the men's section on my vlog and I think I also put it on snapchat it's the Nivea men sensitive post shave balm and I heard about this like so many other people did in a Nikki tutorials video I love Nikki tutorials I love her on snapchat I love her videos I've been watching her for years and years since before I started my channel I love her, she's a makeup genius, and she has my full trust, and so I was 100% on board to like run out and buy this. And I can confirm that it is a game-changing makeup primer. It is from the men's section, so it does have like a manly, manly scent that I mean, I can get over. It goes away completely after you apply it, like seconds after, but when you're applying it, you're like, Ooh, my dad is in the room. What is going on right now? It makes your makeup stay on like no other and it actually really helps me stay matte longer which is super important to me I want my makeup to stay matte and stay on as long as possible I work during the day sometimes I like to have a social life at night I know a lot of you guys watched and loved my make your foundation last all day video and that definitely works too but in the off chance that that didn't work for you try this it is so awesome Nikki tutorials you are a makeup queen she is awesome. If you don't watch her channel, come on, get with it. Also, watch her on Snapchat because she is hysterical. Enough ranting and raving about how much I love her. And now for a pajama favorite. I don't think I've ever done pajama favorites. I'm not sure. But recently, I got two pajama sets. I don't know if you would call a onesie a set uh, from Target. Oh, I do think that I've done pajama favorites. And guess what? They were from Target. Or at least I have other favorite pajamas from Target. Anyway, their pajama section has really stepped it up. I got a pizza pajama set, which is amazing. And I also got my little mermaid onesie, which also has changed my life. Not really, but kind of. It kind of has. Let's be real, it has. I love these pajamas so much, but I just talked about them in my Target haul, so I don't want to talk about them forever, but I had to mention them because they're my favorite. My next favorite is my new playlist on Spotify. I'm making it public and I will put the link down below uh, every couple of months or I don't know, sometimes they take me like six months and I'm just like adding on songs. Um, basically it's just like what I've been listening to for the past couple of months or like songs that stand out to me or whatever. There's no real mood slash theme. Maybe there is and I'm just not aware of it because it's like inside my head and maybe I'm not communicating with myself whatever we don't have to talk about it but I'll put the link down below and if you want to hear what I've been listening to get into it and there's other playlists if you haven't heard them and next up for my unfavorites the first product I have to talk about is the NYX lid lacquer and I'm not sure what other colors it comes in but I got it in black I don't know what got into me I didn't hear anything about this product I just picked it up I've been buying a lot of NYX in the past few months and I've been having a lot of success with the products However, this one, not so much. It is a pretty liquidy eye primer and it shears out um, and it's really, really tacky and, and it's supposed to give kind of like a glossy finish to the eyeshadow. And maybe I just wasn't understanding this properly, but I thought it would still be like a primer that kept your shadow in place. This does not do that for you. I have tried this with several different shadows, different brands, different techniques, using more, using less, all of that, and it always creases and it always looks like crap after a couple of hours. So I would say definitely don't buy this unless you are like doing some kind of like avant-garde, greasy makeup look. Good luck with that. I feel like the light is a change in on me. My next unfavorite is this Yes to Coconuts Coconut Oil Body Wash. For some reason, I strayed away from my forever favorite Dr. Bronner's body wash and I got this and I do not like it. I don't even, I feel like this is mostly like a personal thing. The scent smells a lot like just like suntan tanning lotion or whatever. I don't know if it's like banana boat, but if you smelled this, you'd be like, yeah, that is like real strong, like 
beachy coconut, like a fakey coconut, not like something where you're like, oh, this is super natural, like coconut oil kind of thing. This is like super artificial smelling and it doesn't make me feel clean. Does that make sense? All right, and I did kind of think about this, but honestly, not that much. I don't think I have a magical moment to share with you. Is that horrible? I feel like that's really sad that I'm saying that, but I bet you guys had magical moments and I always like to read y'all's magical moments. So share that down below. Hopefully I will have a magical moment in November. I bet I will. It's my birthday month. Just saying. I'm thinking about doing a big giveaway for my birthday. I'm thinking the Tarte holiday stuff. Would that be cool? Let me know down below, thumbs up, something like that if you want that giveaway, because I think I'm doing it. All right, I feel like this is kind of a marathon video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you want to keep up with all my new videos, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. If you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. It's Leanne Says absolutely everywhere and I love talking to you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. No. Luna was trying to eat my Margot Tannenbaum finger. This is my masterpiece, Luna. She has no chill. So I was like, if she can wear it, I can wear it. So I got it. I might be overthinking this like I do most things, but there's also like a little skirt that went with it and I tried them on both together and it was like horrifically wonderful. Probably no one would agree with me on the wonderful side.